start the season off with the shutout, 52 to nothing. I mean, just how important was that to just kick this season off? Yeah, I think it um, it was very good for us. You know, putting up points and then having, you know, zero points put on the defense is very good. I think we have a lot of things to clean up on both sides of the ball from every aspect, special teams, offense, and defense. But um, I hope everybody saw, you know, the identity of just us running around, hitting people, and offense just going around scoring points. You know, I think it was a good good way to start the season. Yeah, I, I guess we found out why Ray Sean was one of your kickoff returners tonight. Just what did you think of that? that yeah, time? I think – if you go back and look at it, I think one of the special things was about the amount of people that blocked for him. Mm-hmm. But 101 yards is, I think, actually really crazy on an interception return all the way for a touchdown is is nuts to me. So um, yeah, he's he's a special player for sure. How much did that? Because like, if they score there, it's 14 seven essentially going into halftime. Instead, it's 21 nothing. How much did that kind of swing the momentum and just kind of get the snowball rolling? This year? Yeah, I think a big turnover like that when they're in the plus side of the field is big for us. You know, when when they're getting close to the end zone, you know, and, you, and you're backs against the wall, like, you kind of just it's, – it's kind of been our mentality just all all season. And it will be all season. It's been for all summer. Just like, hey, like, no matter what goes on, just just we say good. And, you know, we're ready for whatever's next. And uh, it kind of shows like that. They're pushing down the field, and all it takes is one play to turn the tide. We saw throughout camp um, Mensa – kind of insert himself back into the QB competitions, the top of the QB competition. Um, for him to go out there and kind of perform the way he did, just what were your impressions of his performance? Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's pretty special for somebody to come out there, uh, first game, uh, his first time really playing ever in college football, um, shows a lot for him, shows him, shows his preparation, shows what he's been doing, you know, outside of the field, you know, in the, in the film room, it's just a lot of props to his preparation and um, him as a person just being out, being able to go out there and have the success he has um, for his first college football game. What's maybe the quality that stood out the most to you from him, not only from tonight, but just even seeing how much he's grown over this summer? Yeah, I think um, just his, his attitude towards any situation is very, um, very positive. It's, it's not, it's never negative. So I think He's always just waiting for that opportunity to show what he's capable of. And, and he did it tonight. Just how he's been waiting for his opportunity. And, you know, he's, he waited for his opportunity to have it in fall camp, and he waited for it. And he had it tonight, and he, and he showed what he was capable of. So uh, it's props to him. So the one guy who played for you guys in the secondary a lot last year, Bailey, had, had looked like he had a terrific game tonight. How, how valuable is he for that? Yeah, for slim for us, man. He's. He's a great guy, great teammate, honestly, more than anything. Um, but man, like I was talking to him on the sideline, there was a it was a tight end leak. I think he leaked out to the flat, and um, that's just like Slim's best. Like him coming downhill from safety on a on a tight end like that. That's just uh, him. You know, that's the type of place type of plays he makes. He's he's great out in the open field, and just having him knowing you have somebody behind you that's that's played a while, and you can count on him is, is special. And he's a great teammate, so it's it's always nice having somebody like that. And despite the shutout, your head coach was very upset with the pass rush. Um, just how many things do you feel like you guys need to clean up before Kansas State? Yeah, I think um, from very being very nitpicky and detailed, um, we need to clean up just communication as a defense, um, being in the right positions, um, not not doing anything to hurt ourselves. You know, it's it's one thing for an offense to um, go down there and score or push the ball on you when you're doing everything right. But when you have certain gaps missing, when you have people not playing on their certain uh, people and just giving up stuff like that is, is it's self in, uh, self-inflict, you know? It's, it's not good for us to have that. Um, so I think just communication um, from the secondary to the D-line, you know, to the linebackers is gonna be big for us. Um, playing penalty free is always big for us. And um, tackling, tackling too. I think we need to tackle better. So, you know, I'm sure that'll be something we do at practice and, and get better at that. And it'll get better as as we keep pushing. But um, I'm excited to see where, where we're going as a defense.